Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day five of the Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem. Uh, yeah, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, uh, I ran today in the morning uh, in Central Park, so it was fun, but I am so tired. Everything is so beat up. I only have <sighs> four weeks to go to, to, the, to the show, if you will. So we will see how that goes. But uh, but today I'm well rested. I didn't really do much intentionally. Didn't do much other than running eight miles in the morning. Uh, and yeah. And now we're excited to, um, well, do this problem, shall we? Let's go. Today we have 417 Pacific Atlantic Waterfall. We have a rectangular island that borders the Pacific Ocean to the left. And the, I mean, there's an you know example here. Uh, Atlantic Ocean. Oh yeah, speaking of Pacific and Atlantic Ocean, actually. Uh, I say this sometimes, because, uh, but I am planning a trip to Argent uh, Argentina and Chile, and maybe Brazil. I haven't decided, I have to figure out the details. But if you are from those areas, uh, well, I mean, those are countries. So, <laughs> so maybe more specifically, Buenos Aires and Santiago at certain points. Um, or maybe even nearby. So definitely, if you if you um, if you are uh, from those areas, let me know in the in or come to the Discord and chat. That's probably easier than just the comments. Um, because once because if we have not even uh, sometimes I do me I wouldn't say call meetups. If I just like get food or something, get a quick uh, dinner, right or something, right. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments. We'll we'll figure it out. But uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, so and that's like at, at, uh, in December ish, so it's a couple of months away. But I just want—I keep forgetting it. But you know, this this problem actually—I keep forgetting to mention it. But you know, obviously talking about the Pacific and the Atlantic Ocean uh, kind of reminded me of you know all the Argentina stuff, um, but and Chile of course. Uh, yeah, and and it is going to be obviously after the marathon. So yeah. Anyway, okay, let's get back to the problem. Uh, I don't know if that counts as an ad, because uh, I never, well, I mean, well, I definitely obviously don't have ads. I'm not even sponsored, so, or anything. But, uh, but yeah, all right. Anyway, let's take a look. We have a square cells. Uh, you have integer matrix with a height map, uh, same as yesterday or the day before. I don't remember. Uh, even though I've been struggling a lot with these for some reason, as you saw, so I don't know. Okay, so we have, okay, the height, yeah. Okay, the island receives rain. The rain can only fall directly uh, up, down, left, right if the height is less than or equal to, right? Okay, water can fall from any south to the ocean. We're in 2D grid where the notes that rain water can fall from. Okay, I mean, it seems pretty straightforward, right? For, for once, hopefully. It's just that for every cell, for every cell, we, we're just trying to see whether we could connect to the. to um, um to uh, uh the pacific ocean or up up and left or the atlantic ocean which is right to the bottom of course if you can try to do it for every cell that's gonna be n square and i know that people get confused sometimes when i say n um n is the size of the input which is not always the input n that they give you right uh, in this case the size of the input is r times c uh which is the the number of rows times the number of height or uh, number of columns i don't know Right, um, I guess I was typing height, so that's what I was saying. But yeah, but so when I say n square, I mean r square times c square, which well, let's take a peek. Uh, two hundred is forty thousand. Right, forty thousand square is going to be too slow. So we have to do a little bit better than that. And of course, the easy thing to do then is just to reverse it because um, well, this problem is, I guess, it's not technically symmetric in the same way, but it's reversible, maybe. I don't, I don't actually know if that's quite the terminology in, in mathematics. But, but in any case, you could reverse them, right? Meaning that going uphill, you can say, is the same as going downhill. And once you reverse that, then now you just have to reverse the source and the destination. And now you have one source to multi-destination, uh, which is... Um, yeah, which is just a lot easier to do. And this is um, a connectivity problem, right? It is not um, a shortest path type thing. So yeah, so with connectivity problems, you can do it in, in a number of ways. You could do, well, the, the three main ways, which I also advocate that you should um, practice, right? Like if you know you're good at one, you know, during a contest, during, um, 
an interview, of course, go with your strength. But again, things I said yesterday and the day before, right? It's about the training. It's about learning. Um, if you know you're good at something, you know, maybe it's okay to kind of work on it to get the speed if that's what your workout. But it's also okay to practice new things in that, um, in, in the, so that you know you have that muscle memory in the future. And some some problems for whatever reason on lead code or code for us really, um, some problems just has a better um, into uh, implementation. Not even implementation, but just like the idea to go go into the implementation from one way or the other, right? Uh, maybe a BFS is more natural to you on, on certain prompts and a, DF, a DFS is more natural to you on other directions and maybe union fine, right? These are all about expanding your tool set and, and, and practice and all these things. So definitely advocate practicing. And of course, you can all, always do all three as well if you really like uh, and just playing around with other stuff. Like uh, even if you do know, like does zero one one BFS work here? Yes, but that's where regular BFS works here, right? Is it more efficient? Eh? You know, that's up to you to find out. Uh, okay. Anyway, uh, with that said, uh, I'm just going to do BFS, I suppose. I, I don't know. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think that basically, I'm just trying to think which way is easier to explain and visualize. I think there are two main ways to look at it, right? One is just to... Well, start from all the um, all the cells on on the edge, right? On up uh, up edge uh, or top edge and the left edge. The other thing is that you could create one master source and then connect the edge, connect an edge to the cells on the edge. But um, either one is fine. I I I'm, I'm just thinking about which one's a little bit better. But yeah, um, yeah, maybe we just have like a BFS function, right? Um, and we have like maybe starts. And these are a list of start cell, right? Uh, and so then now, yeah, I mean, now we're just implementing. And I don't know that, uh, hopefully I don't need to go over um, uh, which I'm going to call it that much, right? Uh, or I don't have to go over BFS that much. Um, this is not. I know that I I I I I try to be beginners friendly, but I don't know. I think I'm I'm trying to figure out what the right balance is because at a certain point, like, the, is it is it really worth my time for every video to spend twenty minutes going over the details of BFS? I don't know, but uh, there, there are enough videos on BFS. So I, I so that is the prerequisite. Definitely, obviously, you need to kind of be more familiar with. It. But we'll go over it um, for now, right? And now, do, 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 and this is, like I said, pretty standard BFS. I don't think that I'm doing anything that uh, crazy. And if you do think I am, uh, or it is crazy, then let me know in the comments. Uh, the, the thing that I always, and you have to figure out how, how to, you know, once you practice enough that and you just, you know, have have, a, have your way of writing it, right? I, I don't, in general, uh, go go to um, templates and such, but yeah. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, mm, possible is not enough. No, it's fine, actually. No, 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 it's fine. If, do, 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 if, if it's in bounce, right? And also, if not possible, meaning that and we haven't done it yet, and also, um, has to be going up, right? Up or equal, or, yeah, so then now it's up or equal, or greater than or equal to, which is the opposite of what we are saying. So that means that height of um, nx and y is greater than or equal to heights of xy, right? So if that's true, then we can just append the new thing, and then we set it to true. 
and then now we just return basketball and then now we can bfs to start um let's just say pacific and then we can bfs atlantic and then we just merge them right so maybe we have a p is equal to this a is equal to this and then we merge them but of course we have to define pacific first right Then we do, 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 do. Uh, Pacific is going to be on a zero row, uh, uh, i row, and then the first column, and then also uh, do, 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 right? But uh, only if i is not zero, so we don't do bit, right? And then you do the Atlantic. Uh, which is the opposite on well, yeah to the right side which is the last column right oh this is weird the way that I wrote this so maybe I or for, uh, I just got stuck in my head that um, you know but um, yeah I think this is a little bit more precise precise thing that importantly it is more correct <laughs> uh, well I, I guess we can merge these two actually okay but that is sloppy actually like me in general uh, is this right right we skip zero zero because of this one, right? Um, we still skip zero, but is that the right one, or we want to skip? We want to skip all minus one, c minus one, right? So that's not quite right. Um, we we just dupe it because I think duping it is fine because it just does one more loop, and maybe not the best, but, uh, but yeah. And then now we have um, what do we return? Will we oh we're we returning not okay so maybe I don't need to do it quite like this because mm. um, for some reason I thought we have to return a boolean array but instead we're returning the cell values so we can actually just convert this to um, hmm yeah just like convert this to a set then right. So that is slightly easier to work with. Uh, and it's... Right. And also, this is why you have helper function so that you don't have to make so many changes. And duplicate away. And now this returns a set. Uh, this returns a set. So then now we can return. Do we have to sort them in any way? Um, does the order matter? What does anybody say? I'm going to assume that it does just because I don't know. Right? Does this do an infinite loop? Hmm. What am I missing? Did I do something wrong? Um, not impossible. What am I doing? Oh, because of this equal. No, but even then, it just kicks it off once, right? What am I doing wrong? Huh. Dong dong dong. I mean, but this is the only place of an infinite loop possibility. So that's why I'm like, oh, let's take a look. So yeah, I don't know. Apparently, you could write the BFS about like thousands of times for sure in your life and still get it wrong. Uh, so we'll see. But I usually don't write it like this. That's why. Huh. Why does that loop? Do, 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 do. 
Okay, so that's oh no, that's not a loop. That just goes to the then eventually it loops, right? One one. I don't get it. Why? Why? Oh, because it's not possible. Why am I appending stuff if it's not possible then? Or if it's possible? Did I miss something? Huh. Sorry, friends. Apparently, I am really confused. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, parents, parents, parents. Uh, okay. I mean, so... <clears throat> Honestly, I you should only said you said about this, but but that is also like a very sloppy mistake. So it's not a, I don't know what I you know, um, eh, I, I don't know what to say about that anymore. Ah oh, man, then, but we bound check this. Huh? And apparently today, like I said, you can do this a billion times and still know nothing. But and and they are do I mess up the X and the Ys? Man, I am just so confused. Why am I so bad today? <laughs> Uh, let's take a look again. I don't know. Uh, why would we go to 3 zero? Oh, is it because I... Oh, this is R minus 1. Sloppy copy and paste. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't know what to say. Probably went too fast. Slash. I don't know. I definitely feel like because I, I spent time f talking about it. I just get this. I like talking about it while I'm coding is a distraction. Not gonna lie, and I do make mistakes as a result of it. Um, but you know, sometimes it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, uh, not so bad. And apparently, I've done this already five times. But the last time was three years ago, which I don't know what to make of it. I mean, it's not too difficult a problem. Like I said, it is a connected co components uh, connectivity problem of. Um, uh, 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 yeah, that's it. I, <laughs> apparently I'm tired, but yeah, what is the complexity here? Well, we, uh, we look at this while loop, each cell can only be pushed in here once. Um, so it's going to be linear time, li linear space, right? For one core of this, we only make two cores of this, so it's fine. Uh, and then I guess you could say that because of the sorting is n log n, um, you probably could do a little bit better um, than n log n. Uh, we there are a couple of ways you can do this uh, without the sorting or at least without comparison based sorting. Um, but I was just too lazy to be honest, and I don't know that you need it for this one. It's not clear, so I figure I might as well because it's better to sort than to get it wrong. I guess we can test this, but. Okay, so I guess it doesn't matter, but but you don't even need to because. Because in a way, um, if you remember that we had something like P is equal to do, 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 right? Something like that. Um, if you do it this way, then you could get the, the uh, you could return the list just by going through a loop for this, right? And that list will have it from uh, in order, right? You have that list in order, and then you have two lists, and then now the the intersection is just two pointers. So that you could so there are ways you can do this with linear time without the sorting, even if you need to keep it in sorted order. Um, but I don't know. I'm tired. Uh, my body's still tired, even uh, even though I'm a little bit. I'm gonna go back to the couch and just rest. So uh, that's it. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And yeah. Stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.